How's it going guys? I'm Afanji bringing back another video today. Sorry that this video was late. I was supposed to bring this video out last week, but I had a few things to do last week. So I'm bringing it out this week. Um, but in this video, I'm going to be announcing my new cosplay. Is You can just see it, just the head of it right there and the video title. And it's my amazing Spider-Man 2 coloured fabric costume. Um, in just my normal first videos of my costume, I'm just going to be showing you my, my suit and my mods, what I'm going to be doing to it, and yeah, just everything about it. So uh, yeah, let's get to it. So um, first things first, I'll show you just where I got it from. You can see on the back, I got it from uh, Zentai Zone. I will leave the link down below. Um, I order most of my costumes from them because they're the... I trust them a lot because I've, I've had problems with either the sizing or something's just not right on it so I just email them and they get it sorted out straight away within a, a week or a couple of weeks so I really really trust them um, the file I actually used for my suit was actually from oh I can't, I can't remember his name now like same guy i got my amazing spider-man one suit from i'll leave the link down below to where i got his suit from um i'll put his name up on the screen as well because uh, i can't remember it from the life of me i'm just trying to remember from the top of my head but um yeah um i got the same suit design from the same website i got my other one from um uh, but this one was the pieces were all separate, so the red section was separate. The little the blue bits, were, so all the seam lines you see on the movie suit are all the same on here. They're all sewn. They're not like just patterned on and everything. I'll show you once I get into the suit in just a second. Um, I also got it in coloured fabric. That was a bit of a change for me. I normally get it in the normal screen printed um white fabric but i thought let me give it a try i've seen videos on people getting colored fabric so i thought i'll give it a go and it turns out really really well um i honestly recommend it um because when you stretch it there's no white it doesn't fade it stays exactly the same i'll show all that when i show off my costume but um yeah i and it feels so good it 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 feels really good against the skin and everything but yeah let's just get into the suit okay so here's the suit um he actually has two versions of this design he's got a bright colored version of it and a darker one i actually got the darker one because in the movie they they made quite a, a wider range of costumes for different lighting they made brighter versions, darker versions, and quite mid-range. I got the darker one because it kind of suited the more when you see the suit in like daylight. I'll throw up an image somewhere um, of a good image on what I'm kind of talking about. And, and it's in the daylight and it's got quite a dark look to it. Uh, that's one of the kind of look. So I went for the darker version of his prints. So yeah, I got all the, all the same mods I normally get. So the U-shaped zipper. But the thing is on this suit the u-shaped zipper i don't know if it was just a little mistake that zentai had done or it's just the only way they're going to do it with my pattern or not my pattern but this pattern um instead of the zip going around the back of the suit it kind of opens up from the front which it was kind of bizarre for me at first because i thought oh, how am i going to get into the suit they, they've done it backwards my mistake but in all honesty it's easier to get into that might sound a bit weird because you think it's normally from the back so you have to kind of like lift it over but here you kind of slip it on put your arms through it and lift it right over so i feel like it's easier getting off is a bit difficult but getting it on is so much easier but yeah, it kind of opens up from the front, like you can see there, the coloured fabric. And let me show you here. When you stretch, it doesn't fade to white. And that I like so much because normally when I'm in a suit, if I'm at a con and I stretch, you kind of see the white in it. 
I don't like that at all. But um, yeah, that's the coloured fabric inside. You can see all the seam lines and everything, or where they exactly where the move is, movie is. But yeah, you can see it kind of comes down from the front, and that kind of bizarre me at first. But like I said, it's it gets really easy to get into. Um, we'll get a little bit closer look on on it in just a sec. But I kind of got all the same modification modifications I normally get. If you look back on my old suits, I get the same modifications: the U zip, the forearm zips, detachable mask, as you can see. Um, if you're wondering why that is there, I am in the process of actually painting it already. I thought I'd get the mask done because it's quite easy. Um, I'll go through all the paints I use in just a minute, uh, but we'll just get a closer look at the costume and what modifications I'm going to be doing. So let's go. Okay, here's a closer look at my costume. Sorry about the lighting in my room. It's I'm actually filming this in like quite the afternoon, but um yeah you can see just on how it stands out just like now like the blue and the red it, it kind of stands out for the darker version of the suit um but you can see the color fabric just from the neck there um i got kung fu shoes as always because it's it, it kind of saves the time putting shoes in yourself i have done it before on my homecoming suit it was it was difficult but probably going to be doing that again but i'll i might do it again you know i don't know but for now i'm just going to be sticking to getting it put in straight away you know um yeah so as you can see as well no front spider because um i've actually ordered a more of a replica version of it on etsy i'll throw up an image as well as it somewhere it's currently in order in transit so it should be here soon i'll do a video on that when it once it arrives um modifications i've done to it obviously the side forearm zips but with the forearm zips here because of the sewing so if we've been in the center of it like how normal the normal zentai zone zips are is actually on the side forearm like on the side so when you open it instead of putting your arm instead of taking your hand out like this you kind of have to put it out like that um so yeah that's actually pretty cool because like how they've done it in the movie when you watch the behind behind the scenes stuff so that was really cool. So I feel like this is like the most close, accurate suit you can probably get if you actually want to make one. But I'll leave all the links down below on where I got all this from and websites. But that's the that's the front of it. You can see the seam line there, which is the new shape zipper. It kind of goes across the front there. It really blends in really well. You can see right there where the zip is. It just blends in with the line, kind of, but it will do if you're doing like pictures you won't even notice anyway so let's just go to the back here's the back of the costume and as you can see again no logo but if you, you can see it it's there but it's just in black but i'm going to be painting over it in the red so that will stand out more but i i thought i'll get it it, it, it comes with the no logo which is fine for me because i can just paint over it but and it kind of it shows off your like your skills on when it's finished. Kind of see how long you took on it when you do the final showing. But yeah, that's gonna I'll probably do that first, you know, to get it done. Cause I need to kind of mix the red a bit to make it a little bit darker. So that's gonna be a bit of a challenge. So yeah, I'll probably do that first when I start on the costume after I finish with the mask. Yeah, the shoes again, the black soles, you know, but I know I'm not gonna have the replica like undersole, but it would do you know because most of the focus would be on the actual costume and not the feet so but that's the closer look at the costume and we'll get back to the what materials i'm going to be using okay everyone that was a little bit of closer look at the costume there's not really much to show from it you know it's just kind of the basic pattern and just the no logos i'm gonna be putting on the logo and painting the back spider on it and stuff and i'm gonna be doing the web lines as well and the paints i'm actually going to be using is I'll show you now is for the web lines it's gonna be tulip metallic black as you can see here um yeah I'm gonna be using metallic because it kind of gives off that gun metal look so it looks silver but it's more of a black color which I, that is really what I need because that's what it looks like in the movie and from what I saw in like tutorial videos and stuff this is what people mostly use is the metallic ones so 
all this stuff I'll leave in the description below. So yeah, metallics. Um, also tulip puffy um, paint red and slick blue is what I'm going to be using. Um, probably not the red, but only in case if I need to, if like maybe the um, black like special onto the red i'll cover it up but i'm gonna be using this for the back spider so yeah and the blue is i'm i'm either going to be doing the same method i done on my first amazing spider-man suit where i mixed the blue with the a black to make kind of a navy blue and i'll put it on the blue or i might just put the blue on i don't know yet i need to do a little bit more research into where it looks like i want to kind of make it more of a movie look um so yeah those are the paints i'm going to be using um any more modifications i'm going to be doing um i'm going to be adding i'm going to be getting the facial and the same method i've done with my first amazing spider-man suit i'm going to be getting a facial and lens kit but with a spare set of lenses so i'll be making the facial as a display or if i'm thinking of a, like use it as an actual normal thing my go cons and whatnot but mostly it's a display and i'm gonna be gluing on the lenses onto the mask so it's instead of having a facial it's kind of like it's, it forms because i to me i i might be a bit biased about it but i kind of feel like i've got a good spidey like head shape but i don't know that's just that's just me you know but yeah so that's what i'm gonna be i'm gonna be ordering the facial and lens set from the same guy who i get all my facials from is peter parker industries i will leave the link down below um i also leave a little annotation somewhere to one of my reviews i've done one of my first videos i've done on his facials um yeah i think the, the, it's not going to really be much else to this suit because it's quite easy kind of the same methods as my amazing spider-man one suit and, every, and all my other ones so it's kind of the same methods um i hope you guys have been enjoying my content um i just want to say thank you to everyone who's been subscribing recently and leaving likes and comments on my videos i hope you guys have been enjoying the videos um um yeah um I, i'm gonna be bringing out more videos and just if you if you like leaving comments down below on like what ideas you got that i can probably interpret it into my suits and what you guys think and what other suits that i can do leave it down in the comments below and maybe i can get to them or i might try some of the ideas you have for my suits see how to make it a bit of a more movie movie replica look so yeah uh that's the end of the video guys hope you enjoyed this little part one of my new project my amazing spider-man 2 suit my second video will be coming up when my when I get a bit more of the suit done or if my front spider logo arrives or if I get the facial in between that. Um, so please leave a like, subscribe and leave a comment down below on what modifications I can actually do to make a bit more movie replica look or what suits I can possibly be doing in the future. So yeah, so like, subscribe, comment down below for more of these videos. Peace.